Hi everyone, welcome to Beauty by Trish. I hope that you are having a really good day. Thank you so much for joining me and giving me a little bit of your day. It is absolutely wonderful to be filming again. Thank you all for being so patient and supporting the videos that I had pre-recorded. February 3rd and 4th are very hard days for me due to the loss of my daughter. And so, as you can tell with the different background, when my emotions are too much to handle, I have to do physical work. So, I tore my room apart. I was working on finishing the rearranging. I got a phone call at 5 o'clock on Sunday morning, which was the 5th. And my mom said that my sister had gotten sick, that she was going to call the ambulance. And so for, I think it was just shy of, two days shy of two weeks, I was here, my mom's, the hospital. Then I got that virus. It was just one thing after another. And because my mom needed extra help, my schedule was just crazy. So that's why there was no video Wednesday and Friday. I had run out of pre-recorded videos. I think I did one week in review at my mom's house. But then the next week, I was still there, so I used the same thing. So I wasn't going to bore you. But anyway, I'm back home. I have my room done. Still going through and decluttering a few things here and there. But I'm thrilled to be recording again. I've missed you all so much. And once again, thank you all so much. Tef is doing really well. While she was in the hospital, the doctor said that he was going to try to get her physical therapy started again for her left arm. And so she does get physical therapy twice a week. And so we're real happy about that. She's excited. She just had a birthday. She's a leap year baby. So we celebrated on the 28th. But it was a really fun time. Just very blessed that... She's home and doing better. I read her every comment that you all sent and the private messages, the Facebook messages, everything. And she just smiled. She loves it. She feels like she's part of our YouTube too. So I was really excited to share that with her and see it brighten her day. Okay, let's get into my week in review. I have like a major haul to do. An embarrassing, like a lot of retail therapy happened. I did some shopping on my friend's website. You all know Mary, glitzyfritzy.com. Go there. She has amazing, beautiful things. She tries to cover all tastes. She has a little bit for everybody. And I just absolutely adore Mary. The little personal touches that she puts into... Look at my little earring boxes. I said, my earring box. She named an earring after me. I was so honored. She is so sweet. These earrings, I'm wearing one of them now. These are threaders and they are called the Trish. How cute. I was just, she is just so sweet. And let me go ahead and take these out. These you can get in two different colors. Are those not just beautiful? I'm sorry about my nails. Didn't have time to do my nails. These are just beautiful, and Mary and I have spoke through Snapchat. Thank you again, Mary. These are just, I love these. These are so pretty. I need to go back and do more shopping. She has some other influencers that, that she has named earrings after, and I need to go do some more shopping. These are the ones that are white. These are really pretty, and you could wear these with, like, dress them down. You could dress them up. These are the white ones. And I just think they're so, so pretty. So if you like those, you just go over to glitzyfritzy.com and get the Trish. But wait, because she's got a lot more. I did do shopping, some other ones that caught my eye. She sent me a couple bottles of nail polish and I really wanted to do my nails. I still have a little bit of a tip on them and it ripped it just, I couldn't paint my nails. I'm sorry, but it was painful. I will show you the nail colors that she sent me. Really pretty. This one, this is, this is Pinksicle. And then this. Oh my gosh, look at that. And this is Spoonful of Sugar. Look at me, I'm Shauna D. I did get those. Our friend Shauna that lost her house. It was horrible. Lost one of her little fur babies. Here they are. These are the Look At Me, I'm Shauna D. 
earrings. World's greatest rhymer. And I mean, that is just so pretty. I just think it's so pretty. Look at that. So pretty and sparkly. Her heart is an ocean. But look how pretty. And these are, and this one is, Natalie the Beauty Diva. These are so pretty. You have the top is a little diamond, diamondique, and then you have a pearl. And if you get these, if you get the Natalie, you just pull the post out. I'll show you my second. I put them in my, in my second piercing here. You pull them through like that. I probably should have just taken mine out. And then you can put, let me put mine behind my ear. <laughs> I am making this so much harder than I need to. Okay. So then you just take the pearl part and you put it back in the hole like that. And you can do it how, if you want to leave both dangling or if you want to have your little or if you want to have your little stud up there and then your pearl long, however you want to do it. So cute. Okay, so like I said, if you like these, kind of a mauve purple, or if you like the white ones, those are the Trish. Definitely go check Mary out. Support, support a fellow video creator. And thank you again, Mary, for the extra goodies. I really appreciate that. Those are really pretty. As soon as my finger heals, I'm on it. As far as foundations go, I, I used my Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus Foundation. I used these a good bit this past week, and even a little bit last week. And I really do like this. They wear very nicely. They look very nice on the skin. I really do enjoy having these. I don't care a whole lot for the applicator. But it's not, it's not like a deal breaker. What I'm wearing today, this is my NYX white that will lighten foundations. But I finally found it. So I've been using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And I really do enjoy this. I'm too light for it now. I have no self tan or anything on, obviously. But I just do, I think I did three little drops of this. And then I put this in. This is really good. I've enjoyed that a lot this week. Something else. This was sent to me by Carol. Carol, thank you so much again. These, these are the, I forget what they're called, but they're the kind of silicone-y sponges, makeup sponges. I did do my makeup with these and the first time I did it, it was okay. You use like a fourth of the amount of your product. I mean, it's crazy. What this is really amazing for is my skincare. Because you can put it down, you can use it, it applies it nicely, you can get it blended in there really good without using your fingers. Now here's the thing, it's not a big deal to use your fingers, but I have been using some stronger skin care. My eyes are super sensitive. So if I haven't taken my contact lenses out and I have that in my on my fingers and would forget to, because I always have like a makeup remover wipe here that I wipe my fingers off with, but if I would forget to give my hands a thorough, a thorough cleaning after applying some of the things that I put on my face, my eyes would go crazy. It just wouldn't be healthy for my eyes. So this is amazing for applying your skincare. And you can just really get it in there. It almost feels like a little massage. So thank you again, Carol. And I definitely use this for my skincare. It's amazing. Here's this. This is the eyeshadow palette that I used today. And where it's a pretty basic, normal, neutral kind of a look. This is from Ulta Beauty. This is one I have not hauled yet. This is their Matte Neutrals. And it's just their typical cardboard. You have a little peekaboo peek window here. And you can see, see all the shadow. Okay, this has, I have Coastal Scents shadows that did not have this much fallout. It just had 
a lot of fallout. The collars are really pretty and I walked by it several times and then I swatched it. I was like, what? That was crazy. Very pigmented. They blend okay. You have to work at it a little bit. They don't blend the easiest, but they're not the worst either. I hate to be negative about a palette, but I totally understand watching your money and not wanting to spend a bunch of money like on a 50, 60, 70 dollar palette. I would, I would suggest Makeup Revolution. I mean, honestly, I would. It has great pigmentation. You get some colors. This one has some shimmers and some mattes, but absolutely beautiful color payoff. I would, if you're going to be in Ulta and you want to get something, these are 10 bucks. They were buy two, get one free. I don't know that they're still that, but I would do Makeup Revolution before I would, yeah. These were, I mean, they're just, mm. and this is something I want to share with y'all, and I know this is crazy, but that's okay. This. This is a tube key. It's, this one is from Color Track. I got this one at Sally's when I was doing my own hair, but I'll tell you, I've had so many little tubes. I had little tubes of eye cream. I had little tubes of this, of that, the other. And this really, you are going to make sure you get it all out. If you just slide it in here like this and roll it. Right? I'm not into the cutting open. Maybe I'm just lazy. I don't want to cut stuff open, but I will use this little key and get all I can out of it. I was so excited about this. Natalie hooked me up. I have been wanting to start Retin-A for a good while. And she, we were talking back and forth and she's like, I'm going to send you some Retin-A. And she sent me my first Retin-A. This is the 0 0.25. And she... <laughs> In her note in the box, she said, do not use this until we talk on the phone. She wanted to make sure that I didn't get excited and think, oh, I'm going to do this twice a day. Because, you know, she knows me and that's the kind of the way I do stuff. She advised me on how to use this. Last night was my second time using it. And um, I've just had a little bit of redness on my cheeks. You'll see that in the get ready with me. I have some redness, but I have some breakouts too. Um from trying another product that we're not going to talk about because I was not impressed with it at all. Anyway, um, so she sent me that. She sent me a 0 0.05 and she sent me a 0 0.1. And I'm not allowed to touch these for a long, long time. She told me a long time. And I listened to Natalie. So she sent me some more cotton squares. These are, I'm telling you, they are just like the Shiseido. They really are. I, I love these. Thank you again, Natalie. And I'm being a good girl. I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. I'm being very good. I want to share one more thing with you. It's going to be kind of a two-parter because first I want to talk to video creators and then I'm going to talk to viewers. When you create videos, you are really putting yourself out there. I have been very blessed. I have had a few people that have tried to ruffle my feathers. Um, and I get more offended when I see one of my fellow video creators that somebody's being mean to. It gets very frustrating. And it makes you think at times, you know, why am I even putting myself out there? It makes you question a lot. I, I started YouTube to be there for people, to, to touch somebody, to be helpful to somebody, whether it be a beauty tip, a smile, advice, or just to make somebody feel like they weren't alone, an escape for somebody that is going through things or maybe doesn't have the best home life. I've been in all those categories. That's the most important thing to me. When I've gotten messages and letters and emails and that have said, you know, you don't know how much you helped me. You don't understand. That means more to me 
than anything, that's why I do this. That's why I started my YouTube channel. For those creators that question, you know, why do I do this? I'm being bullied. I'm being treated badly. Mean things are being said to me. Let me assure you, for everybody that is saying something mean or, mean or negative, you are touching somebody's life. You are helping somebody. Even when you think you're to the point that you cannot be a blessing to somebody else, you are being a blessing to somebody else. You are. And to you viewers that comment and say wonderful things to us, that show us support and show us love, you, you are touching somebody's life. There's somebody that has been very special in my life for many, many years. And I'll tell you right now, at this point in the video, she's going to, she's going to start crying. I know she is. I got her hooked on YouTube. And I call her Mama Vaughn. That's what I've always called her. She was at one time my mother-in-law. Stepmother-in-law. When my ex and I split, she said, and, and Dad said, you know, we're keeping you and the girls. That's just, that's the way it was. You all know, if you've been with me for a little over a year, that last November, we lost Dad. And Mama Vaughn has been finding herself again. You see, her mother was ill in another state, and she would make that drive to see and take care of her mom, come back and take care of dad. She lost her mom, and then dad got really sick, and then we lost him. She has so much love in her. She has given so much to so many people. She has touched so many people. But it came to a point where she had to find herself, and grieving the loss of her best friend, her soulmate, and a man that I was more than privileged to call dad. Biologically, no, he was dad. He was dad. So anyway, long story short, got mom, Mama Vaughn hooked on YouTube. And she watches so many of you video creators, and she enjoys so many of you that view and don't do videos and still leave comments. She enjoys you all so much. And you have no clue how much you have helped her. It's not just me helping her. She doesn't just watch me. She watches so many of you. And she loves you all. You brighten her day. You give her ideas. You give her something to look forward to. And at the same time, for the first time in so many years, she is doing something for herself to make herself feel better. She has always been one of the most gorgeous, classiest ladies I've known. But now she's starting to feel like it again. So, you all, when you've had a bad, when you've had a bad day, when lighting isn't right, when audio is off, when there's somebody being mean, just think. There are so many Mama Vons that we are helping, that we are reaching out to, and that we are encouraging. And those Mama Vons far outweigh the people that are negative or mean. So just keep your chin up and keep doing what you're doing. Anyway, when Tef was in the hospital, Mama Vaughn put me a little care package together and she was going to drop it off at my mom's and I happened to be there. So I wanted to show you real quick what she brought me. And I have used, I have not used the one thing yet. This is a Vera Bradley. This is a sleeve that you can put your curling iron in and I use this bad boy. Really high quality. You put it down in there. I put it in there really hot one day I was running behind because that's all I do is run. <laughs> but I put it in there and it was just like it wasn't even warm on the outside. It was amazing and it has this nice little pocket. You can put comb you can put combs down in here picks whatever you need to put in this is very well made and like i said it's a vera bradley the other thing she got me were these and it just comes in a little box like this and they are shears they cut she's like be careful okay mama um they cut everything but they are great you know those 
packages that are the clear plastic and you basically cut your finger off every time you try to open one, these will cut right through there. And I love the collar because if Jack tries to steal them, I'll be able to see them. So, and this I used, believe me, this is a Lay and Go Cosmetic Deluxe. You just pull it out of here. I just got it unpacked last night. And this, it looks like a shower cap, right? Well, you take this little guy and you undo it. And it lays completely flat. It lays completely flat. Now it does have a zipper part here, which will be really good for like a contacts case. And then it has little like for brushes or whatever here. But it was so neat to use because all of my stuff laid wide open so I could see what everything was. And then when I got done, I just picked it up with the little thing and then, yep, I used this for like my serums and just put it in there so it wasn't in with my powders. So thank you so much, Mama Vaughn, and I know you all will be very welcoming to her. She has not started commenting yet, but believe me, she watches you guys. She'll usually send me a text and say, so-and-so uploaded a video, I'm gonna go watch it, and she's just excited, and you don't know how happy that makes my heart because she is such an amazing woman. That's the thing with our community. We go through things, and we support each other, and I love it. I love it. It's just been such a blessing to me to see it be a blessing to her. So thank you all so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and for showing me all the love and support that you do. I am thrilled to be making videos again. Hopefully the next ones are going to be a little more smooth. I've been out of practice too long. Who knew? All right. Thank you guys so much again. Have a blessed day. Have a wonderful start to your new week and I will see you in the next video.